Go. Hi, I'm Dolores Huerta, and thank you very much for asking me to join you today on this very special event uh, to really celebrate all of the work that Casa Central has been doing for so many years. Your work is really a godsend to all of these families in the community. Where would they be without you? And I know that so much of your work that you have been doing for home care, for health care, for our children, this is really essential work. You might say frontline essential work because this is what your workers are, just like the farm workers here in California who are out there every single day, uh, in, even during this horrible uh, wildfire season that we're having with all of the smoke, they're out there working uh, to provide the food for all of the families in Chicago. And they, like you, are the frontline workers. Unfortunately, often they're not recognized and I'm sure sometimes your workers are not uh, recognized the way that they should be. But uh, really, on my behalf, I just want to thank you for all of the work that you have been doing. And also that you have adapted so carefully and so successfully uh, during this COVID epidemic uh, crisis that you have. I don't know where these families would be without the work that you do for them. And especially the work that you're doing with the children on education. Your model of early childhood learning uh, can be a model for the United States of America. And as, as we celebrate the future is Latina, Futuro Latina, we know that so many of our women out there that are needed out there uh, to do community work, that if we could have universal childcare services for all of them, we could all do that so much more successfully. So we know, I, I do want to say that the. Uh, Curtis Scott King uh, once said that we will never have peace until women take power. So as we celebrate Futuro is Latina in this hundred year of women's suffrage, we can remember what Curtis Scott King say and do everything that we get, can uh, to not only have uh, the workers of, of the Central be out there and taking leadership, but also the parents that we serve to get them involved especially right now when we need everybody's help in terms of getting ready uh, for the election that we're going to have on November the 3rd. So I want to ask everybody out there, we want you to raise your paddle to salute Casa Central. Ha, huh. but one more thing, we want you to raise your paddle to say, hey, I want to help contribute. So we know that the work that Casa Central is doing is so essential, it's so critical, the need is so great. And especially now with COVID-19, the need is greater than ever. But you can help and get all of your friends to help, get everybody to chime in, put in, put the cash in, because we need that money so that Casas and South can keep on doing its work in the very successful way that it has done. Uh, you know, and not only doing the work, but developing the leadership that we need in our community. So everybody together, let's say, uh, viva! for Casa Central, and a big Si Se Puede con Casa Central. Muchas gracias.